What is a rhombus and how do you find its area and perimeter and even solve some basic word problems? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now this video is part of our series when it comes to perimeter and area of shapes. And we have discuss when it comes to among advanced na shapes or shaded region. If you haven't seen that playlist yet, you can click right here on the i button if you're watching on YouTube so you can catch up. Today it's all about the rhombus. But before we do that, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines, one way that you can do that is through buying our review books or joining our online review classes or online review program. And if you want to get to know more about that, lalo na kung take kayo ng test, whether that's a civil service exam, Napolcom, college entrance test, or iba pa, you can go and check out your ating Facebook page. Send a message doon sa so www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. Para matulungan namin kayo on how to pick out which works best for you and for your test. Alright? Now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my tablet. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so ito yung lecture natin on area and perimeter ng rhombus. And uh, before we dive into yung formula for that, we're going to do a quick review lang or recap ng lesson natin last time about parallelograms. Bakit? Kasi yung definition ng parallelogram, which is it's a flat shape made with four straight sides with opposite sides that are congruent and parallel, are also true for the rhombus. Yung congruent, reminder lang, means same size or same yung length, same yung measurement. And yung parallel, ibig sabihin, these are lines that will never intersect. Now, marami tayong samples na pinag-usapan, gaya nung square, rectangle, of course, the rhombus, yung parallelogram na hindi pareho yung sides, and yung trapezoid. Now, sabi natin last time, ang rhombus, pare-pareho ng measurement. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng mga sides niya, same ang measurement. Yun yung ibig sabihin niya, na titigis ang line silang ganyan. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, ang rhombus is a parallelogram. Now, ibig sabihin, yung opposite na sides are congruent and also parallel. So, anong ibig sabihin ng rhombus? It's a parallelogram whose sides are equal. Now, itong definition na to, if you think about it, medyo nag-fit din siya sa isa sa mga shapes na nakita natin kanina, which is yung square. Now, my next question would be, Ang square ba ay rhombus? O ang rhombus ba ay square? Now, um, para lang mapag-usapan natin ng maigi, yung rhombus, again, pare-pareho sila ng haba ng sides, which is ganun din yung sa square, right? Kung ano yung measurement nitong side na to, pareho siya sa lahat. Sa square, ganun din. Kung ano yung length nito, pareho siya sa lahat. Tapos, yung lines din na opposite, so this line and this line, Tapos, this line and this line are also parallel. So, anong sasabihin natin ngayon? Ang squares are rhombuses or rhombi. Kasi depende yan, no? Iba yung, uh, both naman are accepted. Depende na lang sa preference yan. Kung ang plural nyo ng rhombus ay rhombi o rhombuses. Ako, ang narinig ko nung growing up is rhombuses. So, I call them rhombuses. So, squares are rhombuses. However, hindi lahat ng rhombus ay square. Bakit? Kasi ang square requirement na ang kanyang corners, okay, itong intersection ng mga sides ay 90 degrees. And kung mapapansin ninyo, may mga rhombus na hindi 90 degrees yung angle. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, again, all squares are rhombuses, but not all rhombuses are squares. Okay, so that's again another parang bit on our lesson sa logic na all. If you haven't seen that logic magic playlist, ilink ko na lang din dito. Uh, mas ma-explain sa yun ng maigi yung dynamics nun. Okay? Now, dito na tayo sa formula. Napag-usapan na natin yung unang tatlo, parallelogram last time. And kung mapapasin niyo again yung rhombus, which is a parallelogram, may pagkakahawig din siya dun sa kanyang formula. 
Now, dahil alam natin na pare-pareho ang measurement ng sides, much like the square, pareho lang din ang formula for S or yung measurement ng isang side, multiply mo lang by 4 para dun sa kanyang perimeter or sa kanyang bakod. Now, yung area niya naman is either base times height or one half ng uh, first diagonal and second diagonal. We'll talk about diagonals later. Pero tinan mo natin tong sample na to. If you have a rhombus na ang binigay sa iyo or yung kanyang sides at tinahanap yung kanyang perimeter, all we have to do is to multiply the side by 10. Kasi nga again, kung 10 ito, 10 ito, 10 din ito, at 10 din ito. So kung substitute natin, that would be equal to 4 times 10 or 40 units. Okay? So again, kung units, big sabihin centimeter man yan, inch man yan, meter man yan, 40 nun. Now, the next would be yung kanyang area. Now, again, one of the options to find kung area ng isang rhombus is to look at the formula na base times height. Napag-usapan din natin last time na ang height is not the measurement of one side. It's actually taking a line, tapos kailangan idiretsyo mo siya na ganyan. Okay, so, uh, ina niya, ini-intersect, hindi lang ini-intersect, pero siya ay perpendicular. Okay, we sabihin 90 degrees ito doon sa kanyang isang side. Okay? Na ang measurement nito, kung given siya, this case, 8, ibig sabihin nun, yung 8 na yan, that would serve as the height. Okay? Height ng kanyang rhombus. So, kung substitute natin, ang area ay equal sa base, which is just 10. So, that would be 10 times the height, which is 8. So, 10 times 8 or 80 units squared or square units. Now, again, napag-usapan na rin natin dati, kapag area ang pinag-uusapan, sinusquare siya. So, it's like 10 units times 8 units is equal to 80 units squared. Now, paano naman kung hindi binigay yung height? Okay? And hindi rin binigay yung base. Instead, ang binigay sa iyo ay yung diagonals. Now, ano ba muna yung diagonals? Yun yung kailangan natin dun sa second na formula ng area ng rhombus, which is 1 half, d sub 1 or diagonal, first diagonal, and d sub 2, second diagonal. Now, ano ba itsura nun? This is a diagonal. If you notice, binabaybay niya yung path from one edge to the edge across or sa opposite side niya. Hindi sa katabi, sa opposite side. This right here is another diagonal. So, makikita ninyo ang rhombus ay may dalawang diagonal. Ang gagawin natin, kung binigay sa inyo na itong diagonal na ito ay 16 at ito naman ay 12, pwede natin silang gamitin para makuha yung area ng rhombus. Isa substitute lang natin sila. So, you have equal to 1 half times the first diagonal which is 16 and the second diagonal which is 12. Okay, now, whether 12 ang uunahin mo o 16 dito sa pagkakasulat, it doesn't matter kasi may commutative property naman ang multiplication. Pag sinabi natin commutative, ibig sabihin, ang 16 times 12 ay pareho lang sa 12 times 16. Or ang 16 times 1 half ay pareho lang sa 1 half times 16. If you haven't uh, seen yung ating video on the properties of addition and multiplication, i-link ko na lang din dito para mas ma-explain sa inyo yun better. Okay? Now, now that we have that, isosolve lang natin. Yung 1 half times 16 is like 16 divided by 2. This is going to give us 8. Tapos, pwede na lang natin siya i-multiply sa 12. So, to do that, you can do it ng isusulat nyo siya. Or, sa ginagawa ko, I just do 8 times 10. Which is going to give me 80. Tapos, 8 times 2, which is going to give me 16. Tapos, i-add ko lang sila. 96. So, this part right here, I do it uh, in my head, no? Sa aking utak, para maiwasan yung need for a calculator or even a scratch paper. Okay? So, 96 siya. 96 units squared. Now, if you want to learn this technique right here, ililink ko na lang din yung video natin sa speed multiplication, but that is just uh, a technique that you can use. Okay? Alright, now that you know how to solve for yung kanyang area and perimeter, I'm going to give you information about a rhombus and then hanapin nyo lang yung perimeter and area niya. And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now.
All right, let's see how you did. So ito yung binigay na information sa atin. Binigay yung isang side, which is 14. Tapos nagbigay ng dalawang diagonal. Now, if you notice, hindi binigay yung height. Ibig sabihin, yung area natin, ang gagamitin natin formula, would be yung my first and second diagonal. Okay? Let's solve it together. We're going to start with the perimeter. So this is just 4 times the side. So 4 times 14. Okay? Again, employing our technique. This is just 14 uh, times 4. 10 times 4 is 40. 4 times 4 is 16. So this is 56 units. Okay? Now, yung area naman, this is one half ng first diagonal. We can call it 10. And then the second diagonal, pwede yung 45. Tapos, yung one half ng 10 is 5. Tapos, i-multiply nyo natin siya sa 45. Kung gagamitan natin ng speed mass technique natin sa multiplication by 5, this is just 45 divided by 2. So, 22.5 times 5 or 225 square units. Okay? Now, kung medyo naguluhan kayo dun sa kung paano na multiply ito nang hindi ako gumagamit ng scratch paper, ililink ko din sa taas yung lesson natin sa multiplying numbers by 5. But the idea is the same. Uh, again, you just need to multiply it by 10 divided by 2. Pwede nyo rin naman siya i-manual. So, kung gusto ninyo, for peace of mind, 45 times 5, this is going to give us 25, 2, 4 times 5 is 20, plus 2, 2, 2. So, again, as you can see, pareho lang din naman siya. Okay? So, yun yung mga sagot natin. Again, the perimeter would be 56 units. And then, yung ating area is 225 square units. I hope you got all of these correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at Like Amarevelia on Instagram. That's where I post the new quick quiz questions sa aking Instagram story function. You can find out right away kung tama kayo o mali. And of course, yung mga updates din sa mga links, important announcements. And you can also follow my... Uh, Official account, yung Team Laika account on Instagram. Sa at Team Laika, nandun yung mga lumang quick quiz questions, mga throwback quick quiz questions na relevant pa rin. At yung mga important announcements natin sa team, mga upcoming na webinars, mga events, and iba pang mga workshops. Doon nyo siya makikita. And if you have TikTok, you can follow me at Team Laika on TikTok. Then for the educational content, math, English, video lessons, at iba pa. And at Laika Maravilla naman for the more personal content. Day in the life, mini vlogs, mga wala lang kung mga gusto ko lang gawin. And of course, doon din natin nalagay mga motivational videos, tips, advice, study hacks, at iba pa. Alright, I'll see you online. Alright, I hope you learned something here today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo ko mag-exam din sila. Dati na salamit tayo matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, you can always send a message to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika. Alright? And if you want to check out yung ating merch shop then to represent yung ating team, you can go and visit shop.teamlaika.com to find out how you can get the hoodie shirts, caps, mugs, at iba pa that I designed for this team. Sa mga kumuha na, maraming salamat. Sa mga bibili pa lang, maraming salamat din. And if you can't afford to do that right now, that's perfectly fine. Again, this is just all of us pitching in to make sure that we have the funds to keep this going. So maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. And uh, yan muna for now. As we always say sa channel na to, never stop learning. Aja, aja. Kain yan. See you in the next video. And bye for now.